What's up y'all, I'm Tina's and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is going to be about how everybody should feel cocky about themselves. And the reason why I'm going to talk about this is because somebody commented on my previous video. And he was like, I was just frustrated because not to sound cocky, but I feel like companies should be feeding to hire me. There's nothing wrong with what you said at all. Everybody should feel this way about themselves. But the reason why a lot of people don't, because being cocky has the negative connotation around it. Society pushes out a lot of stuff. Like society and social media has a negative effect on people's mental health. So I feel like, because speaking on my experience, I used to compare myself to a lot of people, for real. Like, society really made me feel like I was moving too slow. But mind you, I'm young as hell, I'm only 18. Society made me feel like I didn't look good enough because the beauty standard, even though the beauty standard only applies to people, no hate, but it's true. And a lot of stuff like, especially me being a influencer, yep, I'm using the word. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. With me being an influencer, I've been an influencer since I was 15 years old. And even with like hate comments and stuff like that, it would really have an impact on my mental health. So I thought it was really bad to be cocky. I thought it was cool to be humble, but I feel like humbling, hum, being humble, that is, and I hate to say it, low vibrational. I'm finna look up the definition for y'all and let me know if y'all would rather be cocky or be humble. But there's always a balance into both. I'm not even saying be a narcissist. So nobody's saying being a narcissist, but I would rather be cocky than humble, but there is always a good balance. Being humble is having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance, a low social administrative or political rank, lower in dignity or importance. Why would I ever want to lower myself for one of y'all? What bro? Like be so for real. You, ooh we somebody on my TikTok, they were disagreeing with something I said. They were like, you're so loud and wrong. You need to be humble. Why? Now, why would I ever do that? Why would I ever lower myself for one of y'all? I don't even know y'all. I won't even lower myself to nobody in real life. So with that being said, pop your shit. Be cocky. Be the best in anything you want to do. It doesn't matter what you want to do. It don't matter if you want to go to college. It don't matter if you want to just do YouTube. It don't matter if you want to be an influencer. It don't matter if you want to have a business, a clothing brand. You better be the best at what you do. And it don't matter if a million of people do the same thing that you do. Because you in your own lane. This is something I had to learn, bro. Like, it's all just clicking. I'm not saying this just to say it. I'm saying this because all this information just clicked in my head for real. This year. Like, now that I actually understand it, I feel like I should share and stuff like that so other people can get it. You have to stay in your own lane, bro. Like, don't let nobody's outside. This is your bubble. This is everybody else. Stop letting everybody else affect you, bro. Like, it's not that serious. Because when you know you're going to be su successful regardless of everybody else, then it wouldn't even matter. You don't have to try to do anything. You just do. I'll be speaking some facts sometimes. No cap. That's really all this video was about. I feel like the world would be a lot smoother if everybody would just mind their business and just be the best at being themselves. Don't fit in. Being, fitting in is lame. Like, not even to sound like that person be like, my vibe is different from everybody else. No, not even saying that, but like, if you don't feel accepted, then that shit not for you. So don't fit in. Just be yourself. Just be the authentic you and the right people will gravitate. That's why that's why I mess with the people that are subscribed to me. Because y'all really gravitate towards me. Like y'all really mess with me. I really mess with y'all. We all going. We all going somewhere, man. And I can't wait to see everybody's journey. And to answer this comment, no, you're not alone. I started my journey when I was 15 years old. Like, I just started, like, I'm not saying I'm a pro or nothing. I'm not saying, like, I'm not saying none of that. I'm not even saying I'm a guru or anything. I'm just sharing my experience because, like, no, you're not alone. I'm, I am still got a lot of ways to go, but I am pretty credible. I'm not going to lie. 
Yeah, I've been knowing this information for a long time, but like I've been saying, all this information just clicked. Like, once it actually clicks, it's like a whole... Oh, so like, like you learn something in school and the teacher had to thoroughly explain it and then you're just like, oh, and then everything just starts moving. Man, I'm telling you, it's been me the whole time. Like, once you realize that you're nobody, nobody's to blame but you, it's just like, it was me the whole time. But thank you, I'm not going to make this video too long because y'all attention spans be short, but y'all love watching me, so... Thank you to all a thousand of y'all who love me. I love all y'all on the road to K. Thank you for my 300. I love y'all so much. We all going to eat. See y'all later.